Paparazzi here talking ball cards. You know what this box means. We have a graded card return. Um, this time it is a PSA quarterly special um, order. And um, I sent in 39 cards. And the 39, the 39 cards aren't super valuable. Um, I'd say, well, the requirement is that they all are under, that they're all under $99 and declare value. Um, some are definitely nicer than others. They had to be, they had to be um, pre-1960. So we got our two small boxes in here, classic PSA. Let me, let me wrangle this real quick. Okay, one and two. Let's uh, let's go through the first one first. I'll set this over to the side. I'm gonna open them both up. Okay, there's that. And then here's the second one. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get them out of this box here. Um, I'm gonna do it like I did with my last video where I reveal them one at a time. I'm gonna put them face down. Um, there we go. Awesome. The nicer ones I'll go ahead and throw in the, uh, I'll put in the little stands that I have set up right there. Let's get this out. I think we'll start from the, start from the back and work our way up. Okay. So, let's see. Well, they're not quite in the order that I wanted them to be, but that's that's just fine. Um, we'll we'll work through it. I actually saved my order list, um, which I went through here, and I wrote wrote the numbers for the grades that I expected. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get going here. So bear with me as I find my original grades. Um, this first card here, Sandy Koufax. Let's see if I could find this. I do normally put them in order, but it looks like they're a little mixed up here. This is a 1958 Sandy Koufax. And I just cannot find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. I expected that this would get a four. Um, as you could see, there's a pretty tremendous wax stain. So um, I think I'm being a little optimistic with that, with that four. Um, and oh, it's a 1959. So let, let's go with that. I, I predicted a four. Let's see what we do. A four. Nailed it. Good start. Um, I really like the way this card looks. Like um, it kind of has this print defect where it looks like all the the red is on fire. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that there. Uh, let's see. I'll move that a little closer. Okay. Next we have a Hank Aaron, and looks like the folks at PSA secured secured a nice giant eyelash inside the card case well that isn't that just fantastic there's a huge eyelash eyelash uh sealed in interesting okay anyways um hank aaron 1959 i thought this would get a four as well oh three that's okay corners are pretty dinged up and i didn't notice this but um, there, there's quite a bit of staining on the back. I didn't notice that when I submitted it. I um, also didn't expect a giant eyelash to be sealed in there, but that's fine. <laughs> you know, PSA is not perfect. They're people. Um, okay, 1959 Bill Mazeroski. This one I have pretty high hopes for. I'm hoping for an 8, but I think that might be a little crazy. I am, I'd be very happy with a 6 or a 7. An 8! Wow! I thought I was a little delusional expecting that. Um, but an eight in a 1959, that, that's probably, that's a highlight for sure. Let's put that right there. Awesome. In an eight. Oh man, we're flying high so far. Okay. Um, what is this? 1959 all-star Ernie Banks. I'm sorry, 1958 all-star Ernie Banks. Um, I have hopes for a four. It's a three. That's okay. The card is pretty banged up. Um, it is 39 cards. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, Braves Fence Busters. These are just really cool cards. I like these. Um, I think I actually... Um, no, I only submitted one of the Braves Fence Busters, and I predicted a three. Got a three. I just love these vintage uh, multi-star cards. I think they're just as, as cool as it gets. You got Del Crandall, Ed Matthews, Hank Aaron, and Joe Adcock. Okay. Um, next. 1958 uh, Stan Musial. I predicted this card would get a five, um, but I'd be happy with even a four. Let's see what we got. A four. Nice card. Vintage Hall of Famer. Can't go wrong. Um, you know, I watch a lot of videos where people are trying to determine which cards they should submit. And, you know, whenever you're submitting to PSA or any other grading company, I always lean towards if they're a Hall of Famer, send it in. Um, you guys can let me know if, if you think I'm misguided there, but I just think it's, it's always worth slabbing the Hall of Famers. Okay. Um, Rival Fence Busters, this is the one with Willie Mays and uh, Duke Snyder. I submitted two of them, and I think I'll get a three and a four. Um, this looks like the one that I predict I'll get a three on. And I got a three. Still a cool card. Again, I love these, uh, you know, these multi multi star and two Hall of Famers on one card. That's it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. All right, number two. I think yeah, this is the nicer one minus that that kind of like stain on there. This is the nicer of the two, I think. So I was uh, having fingers crossed for a four. A four. I'm getting pretty good at these uh, uh, pegging what these uh, PSA guys will predict. Um, yeah, nice card. It does kind of have that, uh, that vintage kind of snow effect on the cards that you see you see sometimes. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, 1958 Mini Minoso. Let me check my notes here. I, I pegged this as a five. Four. Not too bad. Still a nice looking card. Looks like there might have been, looks like there might be some wax down there. Or maybe it's just some wear. Mini, Mini Minoso, I say this in almost all my videos whenever I slap him. Uh, hopefully he makes it into the Hall of Fame. He's got some weird, weird kind of history, legacy. I think he's, he's one of the oldest guys in the MLB history to get a hit. I think he got a hit in his, in his 50s. Um, anyways, uh, Al Kaline, 1958. Uh, let's see, Al Kaline with a white name variation. I predicted this would get a four, but I'd be happy with a three. A three. Card still has pretty nice eye appeal. Um, decently centered for a vintage card. Nice. Okay, moving on. 1957 Duke Snyder. Um, I would say this is, well, one of my more valuable cards in this order, um, even though I only peg it to be uh, hopefully a four. It got a five. Well, that uh, five, that definitely exceeds expectations. I'm happy with that. Most of these cards I picked up on eBay or my local card shop, MVP Sports Cards. Um, most of these I picked up for about 20, 25 bucks. Most of, I, you know, I try and look for deals. Um, this card I think is worthy of the, uh, of the stand. Cool. And a five. Nice. I'd say this, this order so far has been uh, mostly good stuff. Okay, uh, moving on here. 1957 Roy Campanella. I submitted two of these. Um, I think one's going to get a four, one's going to get a five. This card, I believe, I think this is the nicer of the two. So I, mean, I think this one gets a five. A four. And uh, now I just, I honestly can't remember if this is the nicer of the two or not. We're about to find out. 1957, Roy. Hopefully this is the one with the five. It's a little better centered. Let's see, hopefully a five, fingers crossed. Another four. So a pair of fours. Both pretty nice. Um, I think I actually have three of this card now. Probably time to sell one of them. Or maybe sell two. Um, it's a little hard for me to let go of my card. Sorry about that, my camera crashed. Um, I'm actually using my cell phone today. 
Um, I was saying it's a little hard for me to let go of my uh, my cards on eBay, so I don't know if I'll sell any until I, unless I really need the money or something or need to make space for more cards in the collection. Uh, moving on, uh, 1957 Roberto Clemente. This is definitely one of the nicer cards in the order. Um, I predicted that this would get a five, so um, a five would just be awesome. Got a four. That's okay. Card has some of that snow, um, you know, there's somewhere on the border, so a four is a four is not a huge surprise. Okay, let's see here. 1956, Ernie Banks. I predicted this would get a three. The card has uh, the card does have one crease. Oh man, 1.5. That's pretty rough. That's kind of a surprise. Um, I mean, I guess the card does have quite a bit of wear, though. So I'd say that's kind of the first letdown. A 1.5, that, that's surprising. Um, seems like recently um, PSA has been considerably harder on creases um, as far as what they'll allow. That, this card, then, I, you know, Jimmy Brown, um, 19, let's see what year is this. Jim Brown, 1959. I predicted this would get a 3. Based on the fact that Ernie Banks got a 1.5, I, I, you know, I'd be happy with this getting a two. Got a two. You know, anytime you have a crease, and this one, this one has a crease right here at the very top of the card. Um, PSA is really, really pushes the grade down. Um, okay, uh, let's see here. Man, the way that they pack this is just is crazy to me. It's all over the place. Um, Okay, this is a 19, I think it's a 56. Yeah, 1956 Robin Roberts. This card has a crease as well, so um, hopefully it doesn't get a 1.5. I, I predicted it would get a three. Got a three. I guess that crease wasn't as bad as the, the Ernie Banks. And it's centered quite nicely, a lot of eye appeal. Um, so I'm happy with that. Okay, um, Ed Matthews. And this is a da, 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 this is a 1956. I predicted this would get a three. Got a four. Nice. I thought this card had a crease as well, but the eye appeals really nice on this card. So happy with the four. That uh, that beat what I predicted. Okay. Uh, Luis Aparicio. Um, I believe this is his rookie or his second year card. I predicted a four. Um, the centering is pretty rough on this card, top to bottom, as you can see from the back. So hopefully a four. Got a three. It's not bad. As you can see, the centering isn't the greatest. Um, but still a nice card. Awesome. Uh, moving on here. Johnny Padres. Um, for this card, this is a 1955. I predicted a four. Centering's not great, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get a three. Got a four. Okay. So I nailed it. And this card, one thing has going wrong with it definitely is it has that chipping along the top there. But a nice card. Okay. Uh, getting into this, some um, 1955, 1955, uh, Bowman. Got a Ralph Kiner here. And for this card, I predicted a four. Let's see what we got. Got a two. These cards are nor notorious for chipping along the edges and whatnot. So a two isn't isn't exactly you know devastating. I can live with the two. All right. Oh, this one's this one's exciting. Um, this is 1955 Hank Aaron. Um, and I added some notes uh, to the submission. I I said in my notes. I believe this card was cut small at the factory, and my preference is a straight grade, uh, meaning a grade with, without a qualifier. I said, however, if a straight grade is not possible, a qualifier or an authentic or authentic altered grade is okay to me. Please encapsulate the card. As you can see, it's a little small. Um, so I'm hoping for any, you know, an authentic would be great. Um, so I hope it's authentic. Um, anything above that is just gravy. Wow, it got a four miscut. That's really nice. I'm happy that they graded it. I mean, as you could see, it you know it it's definitely a smaller card, um, but they graded it. 
four miscut. I think I got this for 30 bucks. So, you know, this this is his uh, his second year card. So, you know, a card that I picked up for 30 bucks and then get a four, even if it's a miscut, that's, that's fine by me. Still a really nice card. Awesome. Well, that's a highlight. Let's uh, let's replace uh, Mr. Colfax here. Okay, Mr. Colfax goes back into the stack. Okay, 1955 Bowman Al K line. Um, this card, I wrote that. I hope it gets a five slash a six. So I don't, I don't know. This is a nicer card for sure. It does have a little corner wrinkle up here. I'm hoping for a five. 3.5, oh, that's rough. God, this one just appears to be in much better condition than, I mean, than even the the Hank Aaron. So to see this get a three and a half, that's kind of surprising. Much sharper corners, much better centering. Um, I must have just missed something. When I took a close look at it, I didn't really see any creasing at all, so. Um, other than that little corner ding slash dog ear. That's kind of a bummer. Three and a half. That's the way it goes. Um, okay, moving on into 1954 Bowman. Andy Pathko, hoping for a six. I think that's probably a little crazy based on what I've seen so far. So I'm going to be happy with a four or a five. Got a five. Pretty nice card. I like these old Bowman cards. Um, I'm definitely a fan. Awesome. A five. Okay, Joe Adcock. Um, he was in one of those uh, Fence Busters cards earlier. Um, he, uh, well, for the Adcock, I predicted we'd get a six. So I'd be happy with the five. Got a four. And I'm not surprised. The centering is pretty rough. It's off top to bottom. Um, still a pretty nice card, but it has like this weird ink blot on the back. Uh, that, I don't know how much that detracted from the overall grade, but a four. Hoyt Wilhelm, uh, again, 1954 here. Um, I predicted that this would get a 5-O-C, so a five off-center qualifier. Gave me a straight five. Awesome. There is some kind of print defect going on here. You can see that there's some, you know, some colors that were running, but a five straight, that's awesome. Happy with that. Got a Bob Friend. Um, this is a uh, 1954. It, it's actually a variation card. Um, there's two different versions of this card. Um, in 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 one of the versions, it has this the uh, the 20 shutout games. In another version, I think it's something like 22 shutout games. So they um, I, either they got the question wrong or they just printed two different questions. Uh, for this card, I predicted that. I would get a 5 OC. Got a 4. I wanted to submit this mostly because I thought the card still had pretty nice eye appeal. 20 shutouts in quiz variation. Cool. Almost done here. Bobby Shantz. Uh, he's kind of a semi star. Uh, 1954 Bowman again. I predicted he'd give it a 6, so I'd be happy with a 5. Got a 4. You know, looking at the other cards, the, this, this, the Bobby Shantz card is considerably more faded. Um, just looks like it had a little bit more time in the sun or something else that caused some fading and some wear. Okay, got a four. All right, moving a little older here. Uh, 1953 tops. This is a Clarence Pod Billion. I kind of just submitted it because it was a nicer card for 1953, hoping it gets a five. Got a five. Again, just submitted it just because it's an older card that looks nice. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I have any more. Uh, I don't think I have any more Hall of Famers coming up. Um, maybe one. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Solly Hemus, 1953. I predicted it would get a five. Whoa. Authentic altered. <laughs> I wonder what happened here. Um, you know, one thing I see with these cards occasionally, uh, uh, 1953 specifically, folks 
can't resist the temptation of touching up this black portion with like with the black Sharpie. Um, so that's news to me. It certainly wasn't me that did the altering, um, but uh, that's that's my guess as to probably what happened here. Authentic altered. Well, I guess I'll just uh, leave it as is. That's kind of a surprise. I'm just glad it's not a more expensive high dollar card. Uh, here's a Hank Sauer. Uh, let me flip my sheet here. For this card, we're almost to the end. I had predicted to get a five OC. Got a four. I'm okay with that. Nice card. I thought it uh, had pretty nice eye appeal. I think Hank Sauer also qualifies as kind of a uh, a semi star in his day. Okay, uh, we got a Bob. Bob serve. Uh, for this card, I predicted a six, but um, I'd be happy with a four or five. Got a four. I picked this card up because of its nicer eye appeal. I think I got it on eBay for like five bucks. It does have this little corner wrinkle down here, dog ear. Okay. All right. Um, this is a, what is this, 1953 Bowman. Uh, Bowman Color, Sandalio Consuegra. I think it is a rookie card of his. Um, maybe not. It doesn't appear to be based on the stats. But I predicted that it would get a five. Got a six. Happy with that. It's nice. I really like these 53 Bowman Color cards. Oh, okay. This is probably, this is, this is the last exciting card. Definitely. Um, as you can see by the back of this card, there's something going on. <laughs> it's an overprint. Um, it's a Ralph Kiner card with a Sid Gordon um, overprint on the back. The front looks fine. I added a note here. I said the card appears to have an unusual factory cut. If a straight grade is not possible, please still encapsulate the card as authentic or even authentic authored, authentic altered if the cut is not factory. So if you look at the top of this, this cut has a little bit of a wave to it. So anything authentic, anything better than that is gravy. Authentic altered. Okay, so it was cut by, you know, some collector. And you could tell here if you look closely. It runs up and it kind of comes to a little point right here. Um, so still a cool card to get uh, slapped, in my opinion. You know... <laughs> Uh, an, an old air card from 1949, just awesome. Even if it's altered. Kind of a bummer, I was hoping that was a factory edge, but I guess not, it's okay. All right, last card, the finale. This is actually 19, 1909 to 1911 T206 card. Um, not, a, not a famous, uh, I don't think he was much of a star. Patsy Doherty, um, it's the arm in air variation. I was, I, I was hoping this would get a three. Got a three. Cool card. It's my first T, uh, my uh, T206. So happy about that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the grades. Uh, got some, got some nice surprises in there. I'd say the the coolest surprise is Bill Mazeroski, 1959 and an eight. Um, the 1955 Bowman Hank Aaron. Um, nice. Hope you guys had fun. Paparazzi out talking ball cards. Until next time, keep collecting.